People love to see good mysteries, and sometimes we'll wonder what the secret of the Bermuda Triangle is, who Jack the Ripper was, or what actually took place on the Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. But do you know all of that has been solved? Yes. Certain events look mysterious because of scientific tools that perhaps didn't exist at the time of occurrences. With the advent of sophisticated technology, investigators have been able to figure out the solutions to many earlier puzzles that a lot of people still consider unsolved mysteries. I know you're already thinking how some seemingly possible to solve mysteries like what's the secret of the Mabuna Triangle finally got their answers. Well, today's your lucky day, because in this video I'm going to show you 10 unsolved mysteries that have been finally solved, brought to you by Discovering Trend. Make sure you watch till the end because number one will catch your surprise. Now before we begin, don't forget to hit the red button below this video to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of more amazing videos every single day. Sounds interesting, right? Let's get it rolling. Even though many are still in doubt of certain solved mysteries, particularly if the proof is disappointingly simple explanation, that lack a dash of exotica, books and TV shows may still look for clues to a mystery that really isn't there anymore. But the truth of the matter is that certain mysteries aren't mysteries anymore and here are some of them. Number 10. Laurie's Ruff's True Identity When Blake Ruff was set for marriage life in 2004, he got engaged to the love of his life, a woman he thought was named Laurie Kennedy. Unfortunately, Lori was a private person who refused to speak about her past and many accepted her silence as part of who she was. When Lori finally committed suicide in 2010, the Ruff family found a box that revealed a whole other story about Lori's true identity. Since 1988, she had been living under a fake identity stolen from a dead girl. After Lori's story became a legend, Colleen Fitzpatrick, a genetic genealogist, signed up to help solve the case and led police to the Cassidy family. The Cassidys had a daughter named Kimberly McLean, who ran away from home in 1986, furious over her parents' divorce. When police brought Lori's picture to a family member, she cried out, My God, that's Kimberly. A DNA match confirmed that Kimberly McLean was Lori Ruff. Even though discovery was bittersweet, her mother had finally found her missing daughter, but she would never get to see her alive again. Number 9. Chelsea Brooks Murderer A girl dressed as Poison Ivy went to a Halloween party not knowing that it will be her last party. Well, I am talking about Chelsea Brooke. Chelsea Brooke was last seen alive on October 31st with a man in a costume. Surprisingly, she was found dead in an empty field three weeks later. After thorough investigations, unfortunately, the police weren't unable to identify the mystery man for almost two years, but finally arrested Daniel Clay in the summer of 2016. Investigations led to Daniel's girlfriend, who claims that Daniel confessed to her about the heinous crime he committed a couple of years ago. Daniel faced a tough jury, which sentenced him a dawning punishment of life sentence. It is believed that Daniel escaped the capital punishment as he was only charged with second-degree murder. Number 8. Bella in the Witch Elm in 1943, a terrifying discovery was made by four boys in Worcestershire. In a witch hazel tree, a human skull was found. After some investigations by the police, the body of a woman who was murdered for ritual was turned up. The case became truly eerie when strange graffiti messages started popping up around town reading who put Bella in the witch elm. Strange thing was that the body was not claimed and there was no record of any Bella missing. Recently, a professor called James Webster claimed that it was Clara Burrell. Clara was a German actress whose stage name was Clarabella. It is also speculated that Clara was a German spy who did not report back to the German authorities after landing in the USA. Number 7. What happened on the Mary Celeste ghost ship? In 1872, the ship called the Mary Celeste was found at sea completely deserted. Strangely, there were still six months of food and water on board and no sign of any damage or fighting, but every crew member had vanished. The legendary story of the Mary Celeste has attracted a lot of interest over the years, and now chemistry professor Dr. Andrea Sella believes he's figured out what happened. According to Dr. Sella, 1,100 liters of alcohol had leaked on the boat, and the crew abandoned the ship when that alcohol exploded. Dr. Sella has conducted an experiment that simulated the explosion. It would have blown the hatches open and terrified everyone on board, but wouldn't have left a single trace of damage. Number 6. How King Richard III Died one of the most megalomaniac characters portrayed by Shakespeare was the English monarch Richard III. This malevolent hunchback is one of the most famous villains in history. But while we've long known that Richard met defeat and apparently suffered his demise at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485, it remained a mystery 
exactly how he died. Was he killed in battle? And if so, what happened to his body, which was never found and identified? 500 years later, those questions were finally answered and in 2012, an old grave was discovered under a parking lot in Leicester, England. And five months later, DNA tests confirmed that the bones buried there belonged to Richard III. Number 5. What caused the same stones to move? Since the 1940s, people have been scratching their heads about the apparently strange goings in a dry lake bed in Death Valley called the Racetrack Playa. Every 10 years or so, stones as big as 700 pounds mysteriously seem to move around on their own, leaving long tracks behind them in the parched desert surface. Over the years, various explanations from dust devils to films of slippery algae have been proposed, but none of them seem too convincing. Finally though, in 2011, researchers from Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego, decided to solve the enigma. Since the National Park Service wouldn't allow them to attach GPS devices to the rocks themselves, they brought in 15 similarly sized pieces of stone and monitored them. It took two years, but they finally got the answer. In wintertime, the playa sometimes fills up with a thin layer of water from rainfall, which freezes overnight and forms thin sheets of ice. When the sun comes out the next day, the ice melts and cracks into panels that light wind then blow across the ice, carrying the rocks with them. Number 4. Did Anastasia escape the Bolsheviks? A few years after Bolshevik assassins herded Tsar Nicholas II and his wife and five children into a cellar and opened fire upon them in July 1918, a woman who called herself Anna Anderson surfaced in Europe, claiming to be the Tsar's youngest daughter, Anastasia. She said that she had been carried from the execution site by mysterious benefactors. Rumors persisted that the young heiress to the throne had somehow escaped death, but in 1991, the mystery took another turn when it was revealed that the bodies of most of the Romanovs and their servants lay in a mass grave in Yekaterinburg, Russia, but the bodies of a male and female child were missing. However, the DNA research made by a team of archaeologists discovered a second grave of two more youthful sets of bones that match with a symbol of Nicholas II's DNA, gotten from bloodstains on a shirt worn during the 1891 assassination. This proved that Anastasia actually died with the remaining family. Number 3. What caused the Tunguska blast in 1908? On June 30th, 1908, a fireball streaked through the Serbian sky, followed by an enormous explosion that leveled 770 square miles of remote forest. Scientists later calculated that the Tunguska event, named after a nearby river, released an amount of energy a thousand times greater than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. It took researchers until 1927 to reach the remote site, and the inability to find a clear-cut impact crater or pieces of a meteor led to some fantastic theories, including scenarios involving antimatter and UFOs. Others suspected that Earth has been struck by a comet, and since a comet is basically a ball of ice, it wouldn't have left a trace. But in 2007, a team of Italian researchers used acoustic imaging to identify the crater, which turned out to be in a lake five miles north of the spot originally identified by scientists. Eventually, it was proven by Ukrainian researchers that Tunguska was, in fact, caused by a meteor according to a 2013 article in Planetary and Space Science. Number 2. What was the secret of the Bermuda Triangle? Unless you've never been near the drugstore paperback rack and don't surf cable channels late at night, you've undoubtedly heard of the Bermuda Triangle, aka the Devil's Triangle. It's an area of water between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda that, according to pop mythology, contains some sort of malevolent force that causes ships, planes, and people to disappear, never to be seen again. Even though the blame has been put on extraterrestrial invaders capturing humans for study, the real mystery of the Bermuda Triangle is why people are still so eager to believe in it. However, research by the librarian and pilot Lawrence David Cush in a publication in 1975 shows that they usually sank in bad weather or suffered explainable accidents. Number 1. How were the pyramids built? Back in the late 1960s and early 1970s, proponents of the hypothesis that human civilization had been jump-started by extraterrestrial visitors pointed to the Egyptian pyramids as persuasive evidence. The ancient Egyptians could not have moved those massive multi-ton stone blocks with just muscle power, they argued, and suggested that alien anti-gravity technology was a more plausible explanation. In 2014, University of Amsterdam physicists materialized to rescue the paper 
black pseudoscience by analyzing an ancient tomb, drawing the figure out that a large team of workers could have hauled the giant stone blocks on a sled and poured water on the sand in their path to reduce friction and make it possible to drag the blocks to the pyramid. And that's it from the Scrubbing Trends channel. Got any comment about mysteries that has been resolved? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, do not forget you will be missing a great deal if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. See you around guys.